Crypto Slow with more crypto gains. What's going on, guys? Happy Friday. Hopefully, you've got some good things planned for today. Um, gonna create something spectacular. Um, so, yeah. So, lately, I've been listening to this guy called Naval, N A V A L. And I'll tell you what, this guy is straight legit. He is a uh, Twitter god. And, but he also simulcasts to um, his YouTube channel, which it's not as big, but let me tell you, this guy, you know, if you're into entrepreneurship and, you know, trying to make money, trying to get rich, as they said, or just, you know, have the wealthy mentality, um, this guy is the guy to listen to. I'll actually leave a post, a link down to his channel um, in the comments. So, as we saw, massive crash. I wouldn't call it a crash, but there was a very large dump of Bitcoin um, that apparently looks like it originated from Bitfinex, and it pretty much just dumped everything, because everything is directly tethered with that Satoshi price, you know, and those BTC trading pairs, and, you know, there was a bunch of traders that said there was arbitrage, that actually Bitcoin had dipped all the way to 6,200, but the other um, exchanges hadn't caught up with it, so there was an arbitrage trading um, opportunity. But, you know, keep in mind, this is, this is why I always go back to be careful about trading, because these guys are professionals, and, you know, if you believe in crypto, you know, my, my philosophy is just accumulate and, um, you know, go for the ride because this did look like a coordinated cell, like, and you know, that's, that's the thing about this is, um, when you have these, when you have these cells like this, um, you have all those stops on Bitfinex. And not everyone's familiar with Bitfinex. Basically, Bitfinex is a leveraged trading platform where people can leverage their Bitcoin. So you could leverage one Bitcoin into 50 or 100 Bitcoin. So when a dump like this happens, people get wrecked on Bitfinex. Um, I totally do not recommend Bitfinex for the average investor average entrepreneur that's trying to, you know, get wealthy. It's it's just too risky because it's a zero sum game where if your stop gets taken out, you lose your entire position. So, it yeah, it's just not it's just not it's just too risky. You know, just poof and you've lost everything. You know, versus crypto, at least, you know, if it dumps you still, you still have the coins at least and can wait for a recovery, you know, at, you know, the worst case scenario, but yeah. So it did look very coordinated and basically the markets, the, the value in the markets aren't big enough that, you know, they, they've speculated that someone with like at least, I don't know, like 500 BTC can cause these these dumps like this, these chain reactions. Um, and then, you know, like I said, it's arbitrage. But, you know, why would someone, I don't know, why would someone do that? They just, you know, it looks purposeful. I mean, $30 billion vanished instantly. Where do you think that money goes? It's a setup, it's a setup, you know. People look at it as Bitcoin dropped a thousand dollars, but look at the bigger picture that the entire crypto market, $30 billion vanished instantaneously. Um, that money never disappears. Remember, these are digital credits. That money gets transferred to somebody else. So when you have these flash dumps like this, and you panic, you know, um, you're gonna get, you know, you're gonna get wrecked, but that $30 billion didn't disappear. And that's what people have to realize. I mean, 
think of it as like chambers of air, you know, or two balloons that are connected. You squeeze one balloon, the other balloon fills up. You know, the money is being transferred somewhere because the credits, the visual credits are not being burnt. Okay, you have to remember that. They're not being burnt. So whenever you see a drop like this in the crypto market, somebody is getting very, very rich, very quick. Someone's making billions of dollars in minutes, in minutes. And now you can see why the manipulation is such a big game for the whales because, you know, if it's set up properly, they can make billions of dollars on a short. You know, they could have opened up multiple uh, short contracts on, on BitMEX, dumped the 500 BTC, boom, psh, made their 100X, got out. They just made freaking millions, millions and millions of dollars instantly, you know? And if you're newer to the crypto market, um, you know, don't sweat it, you know, don't sweat it, you know, and that's, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of the, the homage to, uh, you know, today's video is, you know, gators don't sweat, you know, and kind of the point I'm trying to make with that is that, you know, a thousand dollar dump on Bitcoin, you know, whatever, it's, it's not a big deal. I mean, don't sweat it. You know, these 10, 20, 30, 40% drops in crypto price are the norm. This is the norm for the crypto market. So if you're new to buying coins, you know, don't bug out and sell your coins and get wrecked. You know, as they say, when you say gators don't sweat, that's basically saying an alligator doesn't sweat because he's the top dog. He's a freaking alligator. God, gator doesn't have to worry about anything, right? Um, and you know, that's my advice to you. If you, you know, you saw that crash today, or maybe, maybe you bought Digibyte at 0.14 and now it dumped to 0.11 and you're like, oh my God, I need to sell. Don't sell, man. I mean, that's, I'm just giving you, I'm giving you perspective. Uh, I've held my coins for two years. Um, the only major sale that I have was my Raven coin and I regret it, but I don't regret it because I got into Tron dApps. I mean, I basically used my Raven coin to fund my, my Tron dApps and my Tron dApps earned me an income. So, you know, I, I get an income coming in daily and sitting on my bag of coins doesn't do that. So, you know, I felt it was kind of a good trade off to, um, to lose my raven in order to gain that income. And, you know, typically, you know, it's it's not bad, it's not bad. You know, you got your ups and downs, but at least it's generating forward, you know. But, yeah, so if you bought some altcoins or whatever, don't sweat it, man, don't sweat it. Don't sweat 30, 40%, that's nothing, it's nothing because it's all tethered to BTC. So from that reality, you only lose if you sell. And um, I'm telling you, that's nothing. This is just a bump on the way and it flushes out weak hands. Um, but yeah, yeah, so don't, don't worry about it. It'll come back, it'll come back. So anyways, that's my perspective on the dump or the flash crash today, as they called it. Um, and I hope you have a great Friday. Um, I hope to have some really awesome video content for you this weekend. Um, I've got a ton of ideas and I quite honestly, um, you know, I can't get enough time to, um, you know, get it all down. Um, I wanted to do a series if you're new to crypto. Um, kind of bring that back, you know, security, all that stuff as we move forward. And, you know, we have a new wave of investors, um, you know. And also, I another one of my videos was, I've got some challenge videos I would like to uh, do. And 
as I stated in one of my earlier videos, you know, to give incentive towards this 5K sub, um, I'm gonna give the first 1000 TRX away when I hit 4K. And then every 200-ish, I'll give away another 1K. So if you have a valid address um, on that video, then you know you are automatically registered for um, the TRX 5K giveaway. So yeah, lots of exciting stuff. I appreciate you guys as always. Do great things today. This is Crypto Slow. You're not talking games, then we're not talking. Let up.